I resigned on a, on a Monday, um, and I leaked this to the, to the, the Guardian. Um, and it didn't get published in The Guardian until the Friday. Um, th this was a slight sort of uh, annoyance, not annoyance, but it, but it certainly was, it was a bit of a stressful period because I, I, I'd kind of, The Guardian had been in contact with the Daily Star and um, they seemed to be of the impression that I, I'd tried to publish this letter but no one wanted to publish it and, and you know, you're an idiot, basically, um, for, for even thinking that anyone would care what you've got to say. Um, and then on the Friday they published it. Now, about sort of four or five hours before it was published, um, the sort of phone calls and text messages um, began. Um, so at the time, um, you know, the fact that I'd resigned in the manner I did was not in the public domain. Um, the only people who knew about it were my very close confidants and uh, the Daily Star and The Guardian. Um, so certainly at that time, I had no doubt um, as to, to where it was coming from. I, I did initially think it was that they'd leaked my phone number and my address to the English Defence League um, because I didn't think that, that, you know, I thought that they'd want to distance themselves from, from this sort of behaviour. Uh, I, don't th I know now that's not the case, that it was anything to do with the English Defence League, but they knew where I lived, they knew my phone number, um, and as these, you know, I was getting many, many phone calls every day. Um, some of them very threatening. Um, you know, you're a marked man until the day you die. Um, RD will get you, which I, I believe is a reference to Richard Desmond. Um, through to the, to the just city, like, um, we're doing a kiss and tell on you. Um, I, I have to get it, I mean, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what, what some of the the more sort of aggressive ones were. Um, but certainly it, it worried me enough to get my girlfriend to, to, to move out for a couple of days um, because I, I didn't know at the time where it was coming from and, and just the sort of frequency all through the night um, made me sort of think, you know, for her safety it's best that she, that, that she sort of lets this, lets this cool off. Um, were, were, think, the police, were the police involved, Mr Papiad? The police do get involved, yes. Um, there, there was things that reference, which is my CV, um, things, um, things such as a doctor's appointment that I had. Um, sorry, no, that, that was referenced actually by... Before, in, in the days after I resigned, um, one of the news editors emailed me... Um, referencing a doctor's appointment I had. Basically, how did the doctors go? Which, to me, was a warning that we're going through your emails. Um, and the tone... Um, you know, it's stuff like my CV. I had made a CV up on my work email in the weeks previous, because, obviously, I'd already kind of in my head thought, you're going to leave soon. So, you know, but that was where the CV existed, in the threats. You know, your CV's very impressive or something like that. Um, there's also reference to a, to a sitcom that I was working on. Um, numerous references to this um, that I was doing completely in my spare time, but there was a couple of copies that had passed through my work email system. Um, there's also references to the Guardian reporter, Paul Lewis, who I'd been liaising with over my resignation. Um, and when it's... Um, when it sort of uh, it culminates in the Guardian printing a story about me being suffering these threats, uh, and on that day, um, a friend of mine was supposed to be coming down to watch uh, the Arsenal Barcelona game with me, and um, he couldn't make it. And he left me a voicemail message um, saying, "You know, I can't make the football. Um, I hope the Daily Star of uh, uh, you know a backing off sort of thing." Um, I then received an email um, about an hour later saying, um, sorry, but cannot watch the football tomorrow night. Sorry, uh, yeah, tomorrow night, which was, I don't know why tomorrow night, because it was that night. Um, I'll get back to you. This was my own decision, nuts job, adieu. I never got that message. I never got the voicemail.